So I had someone ask a question in the comments of one of my videos about running Comfy from a portable hard drive, which I think is a very interesting question and could probably be useful to most people, or at least to people who have low disk space on their machine, or who just don't want to use up the disk space on their machine, because a Comfy installation can get quite large. As you saw in my first video, the old Comfy installation that I have is around 225 gigs, and if you only have maybe a terabyte or less on your machine, then you might not want to use up that much space. So as you can see, I have this old SanDisk SSD here, and it's really old, so I imagine if it will work on this, it'll probably work on whatever you have. I'm just gonna plug this into my machine, and so what I've done is copied over the fresh zipped Comfy installation that you would get from their website and extracted it right here on the hard drive. And so if we go into this Comfy folder, this is a brand new Comfy installation. We can just try to run one of these batch files and see if it works. And yeah, looks like it's working to me. I'm just gonna minimize that. And as you can see, it is loading up. And there we go. So we have the basic stable diffusion workflow here. And what I've done is copied into our comfy models checkpoints from the first video this basic stable diffusion model that we used i've copied that into our checkpoints folder and you can see we have it selected right here in our checkpoint loader so if we just try to run this and yes there we go we have our output so studio comments i don't think there's anything we can't share in here yeah so thank you to off my back for the very good question and cool username i will reply and just say yes you absolutely can run comfy from a portable ssd i thought your question was very interesting so i made a video to share with the crowd too many exclamation marks thanks for the interesting and useful question also cool user name so there you have it thank you again to off my back for the very interesting and useful question i think it'll be quite useful to a lot of people in the crowd so thank you again for leaving that comment hopefully some of you guys found this useful and if you did it would be very helpful to me if you would like and subscribe and of course share this with anyone you know who might find this useful as well i'm going to get back to making the llm video which will be posted shortly take care